The Prime Minister may have said Australia is a free country and it's not the business of the government to tell people what they should and shouldn't wear. His comments are being viewed as damaging. We don't need um, that kind of comments to come from our leadership in Australia. We need a much more stronger, firm standing with Muslim women. The Prime Minister's comments come at a sensitive time, with racism rearing its ugly head in the community. Muslims are already feeling under siege. In a nutshell, I feel that um, that the Prime Minister uh, needs to be educated more about Muslim women and the differences between cultural and religious practices. This will just add more fuel to the fire that already exists. It will add more to the um, breeding, the anxiety and the fear. Maha Abdo and some in the community have previously extended invitations to Mr Abbott to discuss his reservations. I mean, he specifically talks about, inverted comma, Team Australia. So I'd ask the question, where do Muslim women fit into your Team of Australia today? I'm here at a popular modern boutique in Greenacre to have a look at some of the options available for Muslim women in Australia. The burqa is a head-to-toe covering that conceals the entire body, including the eyes. There is a fabric mesh that allows the wearer to see. The niqab is also a full headscarf, covering most of the face, but the distinguishing feature here is that the eyes can be seen. The hijab, which is Arabic for veil, is quite popular in the West. It covers the head and the neck, but the whole face can be seen. Members of the Muslim community want Mr Abbott to know their door is always open to discuss Islamic traditional dress. Gary Cox, SBS World News.